Misamba casnigra, also known as the blue elderberry, is found on stream banks, hillsides, slope bottoms, and canyons. The plant itself is a shrub. As you can see, the leaves on the blue elderberry plant are arranged in an opposite formation. The leaves themselves are pinnately compound, meaning it's a compound leaf with leaflets attached to the veins of a feather to an elongated rachis. The plant is a perennial shrub, which means it lives for more than two growing seasons. In May, the shrub begins to flower and typically begins to bloom in late spring and early summer. As you can see, the flowers on the blue elderberry are cyanaceous. This means on the one plant, there's a perfect flower. This means that the flower contains both the male and female reproductive system, known as the stamen and the pistil. From July to October, the plant begins to fruit, producing blueberries. Though these aren't your typical blueberries, they are quite edible. They can be used for wine, jam, syrups, and pies. The berries also contain nutrients that are known to help improve immune function. When steeped, the flowers can be used as a natural remedy for headaches, fevers, and inflammation. The blue elderberries were an important staple to the Native American diet. They could be stored for long periods of times and became staples for the winter months. The Coahuila tribe is known for using elderberry twigs and fruit to create woven baskets. Branches and twigs from the shrubs were also used to create instruments such as flutes and hunting materials such as bows. The shrub is pollinated in a multitude of ways. Birds, squirrels, and other small rodents carry seeds, and butterflies carry the pollen. The berries also provide food for many bird species, and the plants are used as protection for some larvae of Lepidoptera. As you can see, this shrub has been benefiting humans and animals for centuries. So next time you're out in Poly Canyon, check out those blueberries.